Johnston was found guilty as charged for the murder a year ago of 14-year-old Jakey Carmen of Ayton. Following sentencing, Johnston told the court, quote, I didn't do it. Defense attorney Fletcher Dawson says Johnston was obviously upset by the sentence. He says he'll likely appeal. I've spoken to Richard about an appeal, and uh, he's indicated to me that uh, he would like to appeal. Um, it's something we have to study, and uh, I need to speak with Richard and also with his family. Um, but right now I do anticipate that an appeal will be filed. Any grounds yet? Well, the main ground, um, I think, would be um, the admissibility of uh, the police informant's evidence. That was a hotly contested issue at the trial. It's an issue that's um, been brought up in a couple of other cases at the Supreme Court level uh, in Ontario recently, and I think it has to be decided by the Court of Appeal. Crown attorney Ken Ray dismisses any chance for a successful appeal. He says the jury did a good job describing them as solid and sensible. During the 15-day trial, over 40 witnesses testified and over 130 exhibits were presented as evidence. Ray says he's satisfied justice was done. It's not ever a happy sort of thing to weigh some guy off for longer than he's ever lived so far, but it's uh, satisfying that uh, he did it and we proved he did it. Jakey Carmen's mother wouldn't comment I on the outcome, saying she'd make a statement to the media later. Judge Rutherford thanked the yes. jury for being conscientious yeah. and yeah. assisting yeah. in the yeah. democratic yeah. process. Yeah. Rutherford, and he cautioned the, the jury not to talk about what was said during the 17 hours of deliberation.